Hello everyone, welcome back to another informative video. In this video, I'm going to talk about a problem we're having with the cucumber plants. And the problem we're having is the exact reason why we sent off some plant samples to the plant pathology lab in the United States. So, uh, just to put things into context, the samples that were sent off um, are basically to test for disease issues, right? Because we just want to ensure that we're not having any disease problem. But the problem we are having is, let me show you, before I give you any more information. The problem we are having is, when the cucumber gets um, past the vegetative stage and starts its generative stage and starts producing, they, be, they start looking, they start getting, um, let me show you, they look, they look like that eventually, necrotic in the top, but let me show you how they turn out. They start looking like this, right? Um, then here are some more plants. Uh, let me let me let me get a decent one to show you what is happening. So obviously all of these, right? So this is basically what is happening. So the top of the the growing plants basically the the leaves start getting yellow yellow um leathery uh they start getting curl and they start basic and then after they basically start getting necrotic and dying um this that you're seeing is basically caused from wilting lack of water because this was basically an experiment right but i already got the information so we basically uh, stop watering this so not all of this is basically um caused from the issue that i'm telling you about so as i said in the vegetative stage, the plants seem to do, do to be doing okay, but as soon as they reach generative stage, right, they start looking like this. Here it is again in this plot, right. And I'm thinking it is phytotoxicity. If we go down, we see some more, right. And then the plant just stop producing. This will soon start getting necrotic, and then the plant just stop producing and dies right so what i've done is to rule out any disease issue i've sent off a sample as you know to the to the lab in in florida right um but as i'm saying when they are at this stage they are quite okay look at this these are looking very beautiful they're looking green they're looking pretty look at these younger ones right they're looking very well right these looking very well no problem no problem leaves look broad they look they're feeling soft right they're not looking yellow they're not looking curl and they basically um started the generative stage they're putting on cucumbers right these are basically just transi transitioning into generative stage um these obviously are more advanced right you can see cucumbers here um and then as we go to the left we, got, we have larger and larger plants and these plants over here they are they are ready to be harvested so the problem normally shows up as soon as you're ready to pick the first cluster of fruit you see the problem sets in so look at this right it it, it, it has started right it has started on these right and um so as i said i sent the sample to the to the to the university lab just to rule out any virus you know any 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 disease caused from whatever pathogen right so just to rule out disease issues so um I'm, i haven't gotten back that, that result as yet but um another experiment that i'm doing is basically to check to see if it is phytotoxicity caused from um caused from whether the salt in the source water or salt from added fertilizer uh so the the, the, the source water is basically reverse osmosis water um uh coming from sea so it's sea water that has been um run through a reverse osmosis system and and um that is the water that the farmer is using so so i'm setting up an experiment to figure out if it is the if it is the water um it is the problem that is the so the farmer's water or or it is basically added fertilizer right but um i've 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 basically um 
this experiment that I did, I did an experiment, right, where I basically, in this section was an experiment. So I basically reduced the PPM because I was thinking it was, I am thinking it is basically phytotoxicity caused from um, salt, but I am not, I am trying to figure out whether it's salt from the source water or salt from added fertilizers. So what I did here was I basically reduced the PPM because they were being fed at 1200 PPM. So I reduced it to 800 and I still got the problem in these cucumbers, right? So I know that um, uh, and 800, I reduced it to 800 so I know that that PPM, you know, was okay for the cucumbers. So what I did was I, um, I realized that it, it's not the, it's not the, 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 the any, any, any PPM issues are um, possibly it might not be the the, um, the the fertilizer being added to the water right so I don't want to jump to any conclusions but um, so what I have done is what I've done is we, we're setting up another experiment here right so, so so this is another experiment so what we're doing here is we have two containers we're trying to mimic the original canals so we have two containers with gravel we have they have their own independent drum with water so we have the water that is um, the farmers the farmers water that he's using to water the plants and then we have another water that is basically um, uh, treated and run through reverse osmosis system and the ppm is way down ppm is way down um, further than the farmers water so what, what, what i'm trying to do here is trying to figure out um, if it is the the problem is coming from the 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 water right the source water so what we're going to do is we're going to add the same fertilizer recipe to both tanks and and plant three plants in in the container so three in this one three in that one and and we basically going to going to figure out if if it is the source water is the problem so what is will happen is um if 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 the if the if the tank with the the water that is lower in total dissolved solid if that one basically if that one basically doesn't show any symptom of the the problem that we are having um and then this one shows it that has the farmer's water then we can safely say that the water is is the issue because we basically rule out the fertilizer from that experiment that we did we reduce the ppm right so we kind of rule out the the, the 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 problem being caused from um high high uh soil content from the fertilizer so this one we're using the same nutrient recipe we're going to put the put the the the, the ppm at the same level right so if the farmer's water shows the symptom and the, the, the water that is lower in total dissolved solid doesn't show it then we can safely say that the problem might be in the in 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 the water right so that is what we're trying to find out right so if it is that the water is the issue then we might have to just remove some more of the total dissolved solids or the salts out of the water before it is being used so that is what we're trying to do here right so we basically have two pumps right with hose pump the water into the into the basin and then it runs out here goes back into the drum and it recirculates and it is basically going to be placed on a timer right this is a timer right and um and then we monitor it so that is it if you have any questions any comments please put them in the comments here Please remember to subscribe to the channel. Bye-bye.